Hey guys, so today I'm doing my rendition of a pop art zombie, and I did take inspiration from Mikey like always, but yeah, this is my grayscale pop art zombie. Let's get started. First, I'm starting off with just a black Wolf FX um, water activated paint, and I'm just marking out and outlining all of my main features that I want basically in black and that I don't want gray in. This makes it super easy for you to not like put gray over your entire mouth when you need to make teeth later on. So yeah, I'm just filling in my eye or outlining my eyebrows and then I'll move on to I believe my nose next. Then with my nose I'm just taking the same black paint and then I'm making almost like a skull nose. So I'm just making two little like half moony triangle things on each side of my nose, one higher than the other just kind of make it not so symmetrical. Then I'm just like darkening it up and extending the lines a little bit more, making them a little bit more pointy. Then I'm going onto my mouth, just outlining where I want my mouth. I wanted a very like open, pulled to the side mouth, very sharp and angular. And then I'm just doing that and kind of referencing a picture of one of Mikey's um, zombies and yeah, yeah I'm, I love using Mike as a reference because her work amazes me and she inspires me so yeah so I'm just marking up the mouth sorry for my little thing <laughs> then I'm just taking gray another gray wolf effects paint and I'm just putting that absolutely everywhere that I didn't put the black so I'm just putting it all the way around, and I did have to do a few coats of this to make it opaque, but that's life. I think I did probably a total of like three coats. Just wait for them to dry in between, and you should be fine. The next part, of course, my camera cut out, which totally sucks, but I did just draw in the teeth and I did kind of like use the black to outline like my the in betweens of my teeth and stuff to make them more defined and stuff like that. And then I'm just taking a lighter gray, almost bluish gray, and putting that on the little fold that's like going over my teeth or going that's folding over from the inside of my mouth. And then I'm just putting that in the gums as well. I do end up just changing that to black later on. But, and I also did contour my face with the black, kind of more pop art contour like I did in one of my other pictures. Now I'm just taking black and white face paint and I'm just doing some expression lines and stuff like that. Just make a little bit more creases in my face. And yeah. I did some by my brow, I did a few by my brow, some by my nose, and then I do the drag motion as I did in some of my other tutorials. And some by my mouth, a little more by my nose, you know, some bags in my eyes, some fun bags. My bags of Prada underneath my eyes. And then just doing my temple card tour as a pop art. And yeah, then as I said earlier, I'm just taking the black and just kind of making the gums black because there was no point for me to make them light gray. It just kind of like didn't look right in my head, but I like the black. So I'm just kind of fixing up everything. My teeth in this tutorial, they're very like not perfect because you are a zombie and why would your teeth be perfect? I did also take white to every area that I put black to make a highlight for my contour. I did do a really really big winged eyeliner which of course wasn't shown because I lost some footage. But yeah, like I said before, I'm just highlighting everything and then shading as well. So for every contour I put on my face, I'm putting a, or every shadow I'm putting on my face, I'm putting a highlight over top or under or around it, just to make it look a little bit more pop arty and realistic. Now I'm just taking some black, excess black paint on my brush and then just making them teeth lines so they don't just look so blocky of teeth. Now I'm just doing the straight up outline of my face and I'm just taking a black paint and doing the outline of my hairline and then I don't go onto my ears because I don't want to take that off. And then yeah, after that I'm starting on my chest, I've already painted most of it gray 
and I'm just doing the contours of my chest. You're doing the exact same thing you're doing on your face. You're just contouring, highlighting, and making it very, very more prominent than you would on your <laughs> everyday contour and highlighting. <coughs> but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You can probably look at the screen and see what I'm doing. And then on my chest, I'm just blacking out. Blacking, as I said, blacking out my chest just so it looks like my lower half of my body has been torn off. And of course, highlighting for every contour I've done, I've highlighted to make it look a little bit more realistic. And of course, since a lot of my footage was gone, I didn't have any footage left for showing it, but this is the finished look. And I'm really, really happy with it, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.